Here we are again. Autumn is knocking on our door. The familiar signs are all around us. The leaves are turning brilliant shades of red, orange, and gold. And there's a gentle rustle in the trees as the wind picks up. It's that magical time of year, when the world seems to slow down just a little, inviting us to pause and take in the beauty of the season. Whether you're a fan of pumpkin spice, cozy sweaters, or simply the crisp, refreshing air, autumn has something special for everyone. The days are growing noticeably shorter, and each morning greets us with a cool, invigorating breeze. As the sun sets earlier we find ourselves reaching for an extra layer before heading outside. The weather is about to get interesting, with shifting patterns that will shape our plans and routines in the coming months. It's a season of change, and this year, those changes might be more dramatic than usual. This year, NOAA has released its official outlook for September through November 2025, and it's packed with insights that could impact everything from your weekend hikes to your holiday travel. Their forecast draws on the latest climate data and trends, giving us a glimpse into what we can expect as autumn unfolds across the country. The big headline this year? Most of the country can expect a warmer-than-average autumn. That means you might be able to enjoy those outdoor activities a little longer with milder temperatures stretching well into the season. From backyard barbecues to late-season camping trips, the warmth could linger making this fall feel a bit more like an extended summer in many places. But it's not just about the temperature. Some regions will be drier than usual while others could see more rain than they're used to, so it's a real mixed bag. These shifting patterns could affect everything from local harvests to outdoor events and even your daily commute. It's important to stay informed as the weather could change quickly and catch some of us off guard. In this guide we'll break down what to expect, region by region, from temperatures to rainfall. Whether you live in the Northeast, the Midwest, the South, or out West, we'll cover the key trends and what they mean for you. We'll also highlight any unusual patterns or surprises that could pop up as the season progresses. We'll also take a closer look at drought risks, potential flooding, and what an active hurricane season could mean for the coasts. With climate patterns shifting, some areas may face water shortages while others could be at risk for heavy downpours or even severe storms. Understanding these risks can help you prepare and stay safe, no matter where you live. My goal? To give you the info you need to be ready for whatever autumn 2025 brings, whether you're planning a family outing, prepping your home for cooler nights, or just want to know what to expect, this guide is here to help you make the most of the season. So grab your favorite mug, settle in, and let's dive into the details of this year's autumn weather outlook together. You hear us mention NOAA a lot, but who are they? NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, is the top U.S. agency for weather and climate science. They run satellites, launch weather balloons, and gather massive amounts of data daily. Their forecasts save lives and help industries like farming, fishing, and shipping plan ahead. When NOAA releases a seasonal outlook, it's based on decades of climate data and advanced computer models. They analyze global patterns like Pacific Ocean temperatures to predict what's coming. Their work helps communities prepare for drought, flooding, and more. When NOAA speaks, everyone in weather listens. So let's see what their experts are predicting for this autumn. Let's talk temperatures. NOAA's forecast says warmth is the big story. Most of the U.S. faces a 40-50% chance of above-normal temperatures from September to November. The Southwest and New England have the highest odds, up to 70%, for a much warmer autumn. Southern states, from Texas to the Carolinas, will be both warmer and drier. The Midwest and Plains will also be milder, though with less certainty. Even the Pacific Northwest is expected to be a bit warmer than usual. After a mild rainy summer, this is a definite shift. Hawaii, too, is likely to see above normal temperatures. Get ready for an autumn that feels more like a gentle extension of summer. Now let's talk rain. Autumn is a season of change, and for many it's a time when we expect the skies to open up and replenish the land. But this year, the story of rain across the United States is anything but simple. As we move into the fall months, the question on everyone's mind is, where will the rain fall, and where will it be missing? NOAA's latest precipitation outlook paints a clear divide. Drier than normal conditions are forecast for much of the southern U.S., with the southwest and Texas standing out as particular trouble spots. 
These regions are already familiar with water shortages, and the coming months aren't likely to bring much relief. In fact, the odds are stacked against them. There's a 33 to 40 percent chance that rainfall will fall short of average. For communities that rely on every drop, this is a worrying forecast. Reservoirs are already running low, and the land is showing the scars of past droughts, cracked earth, shrinking lakes and stressed crops. Texas in particular is facing a double whammy this autumn, warmer temperatures and less rain. This combination can intensify drought conditions, making it even harder for farmers, ranchers and communities to manage their water needs. The risk of wildfires also increases when the land is both hot and dry, adding another layer of concern for residents and emergency responders. On the other hand, the Pacific Northwest and the Northern Ohio Valley are in for a different experience. These regions are likely to see above-average rainfall, which could bring a welcome boost to rivers, forests, and farmlands. For places like Seattle and Portland, rain is nothing new but this autumn could be even wetter than usual. The Northwest may start the season on the dry side but forecasts suggest a shift to a much wetter pattern as autumn progresses. This could help refill reservoirs and support hydroelectric power, but it also raises the risk of flooding, especially in areas where the ground is already saturated or rivers are running high. In the Ohio Valley, extra rain could be a double-edged sword. On one hand, it's great news for crops like corn and soybeans, which need moisture to thrive. On the other, too much rain at once can lead to waterlogged fields, delayed harvests, and even crop loss if flooding becomes severe. Florida is also expected to see more rain than usual, but for a different reason. The state is at a higher risk for tropical storms and hurricanes during the fall, which can bring intense downpours and flash flooding. While this rain can help ease drought in some areas, it can also cause significant damage and disruption. So across the country, it's a real split decision. Some regions will be watching the skies for much needed rain, while others will be bracing for the possibility of too much water all at once. The contrast between the parched southwest and the soggy northwest couldn't be more striking. This autumn some Americans will be reaching for their umbrellas and rain boots, while others will be anxiously checking their rain gauges, hoping for even a little relief from the dry spell. The impacts of these patterns will be felt in our cities, on our farms, and in our daily lives. Let's take a closer look at the regions most at risk, and what these shifting patterns could mean for communities across the nation, as we head deeper into autumn. Warmer and drier conditions spell one thing, drought. The Southwest, Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, Colorado, faces persistent or worsening drought this autumn. Less rain and more evaporation mean water shortages could get worse, especially for the Colorado River system. Texas is also in the crosshairs with agriculture and city water supplies under pressure. Ranchers may need extra feed and farmers could see lower yields. Cities might face water restrictions if reservoirs drop. Drier conditions also raise wildfire risks. Parched vegetation is fuel for fast-moving blazes. Firefighters are preparing for a tough season. Residents need to be careful and have emergency plans ready. A sunny autumn can hide some serious risks. While the South dries out, other regions are bracing for rain. The Pacific Northwest, Washington and Oregon, should expect above-average precipitation. This helps refill reservoirs and reduce wildfire risk, but heavy rain can trigger landslides, especially after wildfires. Emergency managers are on alert. The Northern Ohio Valley, Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, also looks wetter than normal. Autumn rains can benefit crops and set up a good start for winter wheat, but too much rain can cause flash flooding and swollen rivers. Florida's extra rain is tied to the threat of tropical storms, not gentle showers. For these regions it's all about balancing the benefits and risks of a wet autumn. Let's see what's driving these patterns. Why the split between dry south and wet north? The answer, La Nina. La Nina is a climate pattern with cooler Pacific waters, shifting the jet stream north. This brings drier, warmer weather to the southern U.S. and steers storms into the northwest and Ohio Valley. It's a classic La Nina signature, dry south, wet north. This marks a big change from last year's El Nino, which brought record warmth. The transition to La Nina is a major reset for our weather. Every La Nina is unique, but these trends are reliable. Understanding La Nina is key to understanding this autumn's forecast. La Nina also ramps up the Atlantic hurricane season, which peaks in autumn. This year NOAA expects an active season, more storms, hurricanes, and major hurricanes. 
La Nina reduces wind shear making it easier for storms to form and strengthen. The Gulf Coast, Southeast and especially Florida face the highest risks. A single hurricane can bring devastating winds, flooding and power outages. If you live along the coast, now's the time to update your hurricane plan and supply kit. Don't wait until a storm is offshore, be ready now. September and October are the most active months, so stay alert. So what should you do with this forecast? As we look ahead to the coming season, it's important to take a few moments to think about how the weather might impact your plans, your home, and your community. Whether you're planning family outings, prepping your garden, or just hoping to enjoy the crisp air, a little preparation now can make all the difference later. Most of the country can expect a warmer autumn, so take advantage of those extra mild days. Plan a hike, organize a picnic, or simply spend more time outdoors with friends and family. These are the moments to savor before the chill of winter sets in. But remember, even with pleasant weather, it's wise to keep an eye on changing conditions. In the Southwest and Texas, the risk of drought and wildfires remains high. Make water conservation a priority, fix leaks, water your garden early in the morning, and avoid unnecessary outdoor burning. If you live near wildlands, clear dry brush and debris from around your home and have an evacuation plan in place. Staying alert and prepared can help protect your family and your property. In the Pacific Northwest and Ohio Valley, heavy rain is likely. Now's the time to check your gutters, clear out drains, and make sure your sump pump is working. If you live in a flood-prone area, review your flood plan and keep emergency supplies handy. A little effort now can prevent big headaches later. Along the Atlantic and Gulf Coast, hurricane season isn't over yet. Review your emergency plan, check your supplies, and make sure you know your evacuation routes. Secure outdoor furniture and trim trees near your home. Being ready means you can act quickly if a storm approaches. Preparation is about knowing your local risks and acting early. Talk with your family and neighbors about what to do in an emergency. Make a checklist of supplies and review it together. Community readiness can make a big difference when the unexpected happens. Stay informed with updates from the National Weather Service and your local news. Sign up for alerts on your phone and follow trusted sources on social media. The more you know, the better you can respond to changing conditions. Autumn is a season of change. Enjoy it, but stay ready for surprises. Take time to appreciate the beauty around you from falling leaves to cool evenings, but don't let your guard down. Weather can shift quickly, and being prepared means you can enjoy the season with peace of mind. NOAA's outlook is your best guide for the months ahead. Check their forecasts regularly and use their resources to help you plan. Whether you're a homeowner, a parent, or just someone who loves the outdoors, staying informed helps you make the most of every season. Stay safe, stay prepared, and enjoy all that autumn has to offer. We'll keep you updated as the season unfolds so you can make the most of every day no matter what the weather brings.